Hi kids and parents. Welcome to Basic Concepts of Piano Theory, Lesson 1. This is the theory portion of the video series. And the first lesson we're going to cover definitions and keyboard geography. Let's get started. What is music? Can you tell me what your definition of music is? The theoretical definition of music is the art of ordering sound. Now, what is music theory? Music theory is the study of how sounds are ordered and why. Keep these definitions in the back of your mind as it's important to know what it is you're studying and why. The more we get into the basic concepts of piano theory and start to play and create music, the more you will connect with these definitions. As an assignment, I want you to draw a picture of what music is to you. What does music look like to you? Have fun and be creative with it. Once you draw your picture, you can post it in the Facebook group. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Now let's move on to the next part of our lesson, keyboard geography. Have you ever seen a piano keyboard? I'm going to draw a keyboard on the board here. Okay, bear with me. It won't be perfect, but the whole idea is for you to get an idea of what a piano keyboard looks like and the geography behind it. Now, a piano keyboard is described as a set of neighboring keys on an instrument. Okay. I'm drawing in black keys now, so give me a second as I scribble these in. And I hope you can hear me fairly well. I am speaking into the mic, and then I tend to turn away when I write on the board, so just kind of bear with me. You may have to turn your volume up a little bit. Let me make one more here. All right, hope you can see that. Okay, there should be another key here, black key. All right, so a keyboard is described as a set of neighboring keys on an instrument. In the case, in this case, it's a piano. The piano keyboard is made up of black keys and white keys. The black keys are grouped in sets of two and three, while the white keys appear next to each other. The white keys are called natural keys the black keys are called sharps or flat keys. And just for a fact, something to keep in your back of your mind, the keyboard on a piano is made up of 88 keys. That's a full size keyboard. Now, what does a piano keyboard look like? I've just drawn a diagram. I want you to draw a keyboard diagram at this time as well. I wanna make sure that you have a visual in your mind of what a keyboard looks like so that you can be able to reference this. You're gonna need this information for future um, just to have it in your mind, All right? So take a moment, grab a piece of paper and a pencil and draw a diagram of a keyboard and what it looks like. You can make it small like mine or you can make it long. You can make it skinnier, fatter, however you wanna draw it, but take a moment and draw a keyboard and upload your picture into the Facebook group. I'm looking forward to seeing your results. All right, let's move on. For the next part of this lesson, oops, and I probably shouldn't have erased that, but we'll keep going. For the next part of this lesson, I want to talk briefly about letter names. Letter names. Each black and white key has a letter name. And this is our musical alphabet. The letters or the letter names of each key is taken from the regular alphabet, okay? We'll talk more about the musical alphabet in future lessons, but I just want you to know that the names of the letters are taken from the first seven letters 
of the alphabet, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. All right? So when you're looking at the keyboard, All right, let me do that again. Excuse the fumble. And so when you're looking at a keyboard, these white keys represent the seven letters of the alphabet okay and a is really here a b c d e this is f and this is g okay this is c d e f g a b c d e f g and it repeats itself right so this is known as the musical alphabet i hope you can see this here it may be backwards on the screen but this is the musical alphabet the first seven letters of our regular alphabet. And these are the names of the white keys on the piano keyboard. All right, the black keys, remember, are sharps and flats. So we will learn that later on. But I just wanted to get this in your mind so you can go ahead and start thinking about the musical alphabet. All right, if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the Facebook group. I look forward to providing you with some feedback and addressing your questions and concerns. Now, before I close out this video, I want to remind you for activity and assignment to go ahead and draw the uh, diagram of the keyboard posted in the group. Also, you can make, um, also I want you to draw a picture of what music looks like to you and upload that to the Facebook group as well. And then for the sake of being sure that you understand uh, where the groups of two and three black keys are. I want you to play black keys on your keyboard according to the group they assigned. So for example, play all the black keys grouped in sets of two. I want you to identify all the uh, black keys that are grouped in sets of two and then play them. Okay, and then do the same for the groups, the black keys that are grouped in sets of three and then play them, all right? And you can record a video doing that as well and upload it to the group. Okay, I look forward to seeing your results. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the Facebook group. See you next lesson.